Well, during the financial crisis, the exchanges became more important than ever before due to the interconnectedness of the capital markets and really the increased focus on derivatives. Our Margaret Popper is live at the Sandler O'Neill Global Exchange and Electronic Trading Conference, and she's joined by Jeffrey Sprecher. He's chairman and CEO of the Intercontinental Exchange, the major exchange for derivatives like credit default swaps that help to sink the Margaret. The uh, market, Margaret, all yours. Thanks, Carol. Um, that's right. I'm here with Jeff Sprecher. And Jeff, this period of downturn comes after a huge period of consolidation for the exchanges. And you were a big part of that, actually. How do you view the business climate right now? And how do you keep growth up after having made these huge investments? in a downturn. Well, we've been very fortunate, uh, frankly, in the asset classes that we acquired entrance into have actually been some of the best performing. These are things like commodities, agriculture, uh, equity, e equity indices, and things that are related to stocks, but not necessarily the stock market. But you're right in that some of my peers uh, uh, did acquisitions at the top of the valuation market, and they've been struggling with their balance sheets a bit as they try to digest these acquisitions in a trading downturn. No, but your earnings have been, they've held up, but they're comparatively flat. What are your investors, your, your key investors telling you? Are they saying we want to see growth or are they patient? Uh, they've been patient, actually, and, and probably like most of us, uh, things feel pretty good right now. There's a sense that things have stabilized and you're starting to see growth come back into our markets. Last year, uh, last month, our agricultural markets uh, really started to take off again as uh, farmers and other small ag cooperatives are coming back in to hedge their risk. You know, there was a sense that, that when the prices of everything were going down, there was no need to hedge. And now that you've seen a stabilization or a sense of feeling of stabilization in the economy, people are coming back in to hedge their risk as they feel that things may be improving. Which obviously is good for an exchange that deals in futures and derivatives. Exactly. And products we really like are that. exchangers of risk on behalf of the market. Now, let me ask you this. Are there products right now that you're looking at to want to add to your exchange and this could be a good time, obviously, because there are uh, companies out there that are struggling. Sure. You know, Secretary Geithner came out with a letter recently that outlawed or outlined a broad uh, reform package that trying to bring more of the uh, opaque over-the-counter markets onto exchanges. So myself and all of my peers are looking at that entire portfolio of OTC products and trying have to figure Have you identified out. anything that you're really interested in? Well, I think, as you know, we, we have started clearing credit default swaps, which is our first foray really into the complicated swap market and that's been going quite well and now we're trying to see how can we extend that um, that initiative to go into other related assets that the banks have on their balance sheets. Let's talk about credit default swaps. Are you concerned that the push for regulation of that market could make that a problematic Entry and <laughs> not really. Um, this week, actually, the the major banks and dealers uh, themselves laid out a roadmap on how they see the markets evolving, and they themselves are looking for more standardization, more oversight, uh, more clearing, and the use of exchanges. You know, they themselves are beholden. Those management teams are beholden to their shareholders, and they want to see these get cleaned up as well. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jeff Sprecher. Jeff Sprecher, CEO of ICE, the uh, big derivatives exchange that also has credit default swaps. Back to you, Carol. All right, Margaret. Thanks so much.